Welcome back, everybody. This is Cliff again with our final unit in the boot camp series. I thought that it might be beneficial to actually play through a scenario and talk through all of the rules as they're applied so that you can see everything in context. I know there's a lot of playthroughs online, but their purpose isn't necessarily to demonstrate the rules, and sometimes the rules are liberally applied, and that's fine. But for this particular playthrough of a scenario, I'm going to try my very best to play all of the rules absolutely correctly and explain my thought process and the rule process as we go through. So it might be tedious for you, I don't know. It might be useful. I'll break it up into turns so that each turn has its own video and I'll kind of highlight what <clears throat> was covered in each one so that if you have a specific question, maybe one of these turns in this particular scenario would be applicable. You let me know. And if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. But I'm almost done. So for the purpose of this instructional video series, I've decided to pick a scenario out of the campaign system because it won't wreck your fun in playing the other scenarios that have less, less variability. There's like thousands of possible scenarios in the campaign system. And the one that I've selected is from Germany. So, backstory, it's March 1945. We're in Germany. We're near Nierstein on the Rhine River, getting ready to press across the Rhine. We're playing... 85 from Germany. You can find it in your <clears throat> campaign rules. Using the town map. I love the town map and it does not get nearly enough love in this game. So we're going to do a little urban combat. We're playing the campaign gain scenario one which is attack in town in the rain. Of course there's no bocage in Germany on the Rhine. It is daytime, so we've got good visibility. All we got is a little rain. No friendly vehicles, but we do get a 105 if we request it. We will request the 105 barrage. No fortifications, no bazookas, which means there's no enemy vehicles. No machine guns, no recon, so we have to set up first. We have a hand size of four and no trained medics. Their average quality, not elite, none of those pastel guys, but they do have MG42s and they do have snipers. So we're in town with machine guns and snipers with a medium sized hand, fortified building and wire. And I don't think we've talked about wire, so we'll talk about wire today. No vehicles, no Panzerfaust. They're alert and prepared and no medics. Pretty straightforward. Get rid of that. So, yeah, where to begin? Well, an attack has 14 turns. So let's add our end to turn here. So we have 14 turns. Normally this would be in a campaign and you'd have your squad coming, but I'm jumping right into the middle. So I rolled for a random squad and I rolled a zero. So I pulled the zero soldiers out and they're over here, my squad. And I rolled a four for a vehicle. So I got a Jeep with a machine gun, an MG 1919 30 cal. I drew a driver, Corporal Hamilton. And we're going to have to put a passenger in here to run our 1919. So let us decide that now. So let me zoom in on our guys here. Here's our guys. What I want for a machine gunner is a good TQ, but I don't want to give up a decent rifle skill. So I'm going to look for a crappy rifle with a better TQ. 
that's who I'm going to pick for a machine gun. <coughs> and I think we're going to take Butterfingers. Butterfingers has a TQ of 5 and a rifle skill of 3, so we're not giving up much on his Garand. And we have the advantage that we're sticking a Medic in a Jeep. And the Jeep is going to be my base of fire, supporting my advance. And I'm going to use it to partition the battlefield with lines of fire. 5 is a pretty good machine gun skill. So there's my Jeep set up. And this guy will now be spotted... Um, control S because everybody in a Jeep in a vehicle is spotted. Alright. And we got our guys here. Let's talk about what this mission is and what our strategy is going to be overall. Let me zoom out and make this fit the height. Yeah, I know it's small. It'll only take a sec. <clears throat> so we're 1st Squad, 1st Platoon, Charlie Company. We've been tasked with getting into town and taking a cathedral that's been acting as a headquarters for this part of town. <clears throat> Second Squad is next to us. They're pressing up to get up to the river. Third Squad is back in reserves because Lieutenant Fliss is always giving them the easy si assignments. We're always out front. That's just the way life is. Um, our objective, let's see here. One rectangle is this church. We get two victory points for holding the four, the four church hexes here. These two and these two. Two points each. That's eight victory points. Half of what we need to get our excellent victory so we're going to take that church no matter what and we're coming in and we've got to set up over here in columns one to three so we got to fight through town to get to that church and i do not like the looks of this large open area here so we're going to have to be careful because they have machine guns and snipers and getting caught out in the open in this particular play is not going to be a great deal of fun. <clears throat> so, I plan to have two groups. Um, I'm going to start with an assault team up here. Their job is going to be to take that church and they're going to run the flank. I plan to run them first into these buildings, then around into these buildings, flanking this hotel. That hotel looks like trouble, but we got a wall here, up here, so they're not going to have good visibility across that wall. Over to here, probably to this building, and down to take the church. Along the way, they're going to be firing to support Not going to be able to do much here, but maybe toss a grenade if we need to. Firing, firing. As we go, that's not much of a shot. And from here, we'll be able to protect ourselves from like this cafe, these houses down here. This is probably the business district. This is probably City Hall. So that's that team. And then we're going to have our base fire. Which is going to be guys starting here from this large building. Moving up. Establishing decent firing positions. Trying to work along into this building. And from there, project fire best we can up toward the business district. If they can, they'll try to get into the hotel. I don't know, but that hotel looks a little bit scary. But holding that hotel is going to be important. Basically, I don't want any of their guys to press through 
on my flank, I want to just do all my work up on the north side. How about the Jeep? <clears throat> the Jeep, I'm going to run <clears throat> down this road and then up this road. And he's going to provide fire down the roads, cutting off any movement east to west. And he might be able to provide a little bit of advancing fire depending on his lines of sight as he moves up. The Jeep is going to lag behind my soldiers because he's vulnerable. I don't want him to get picked off. He's going to just support and cut off um, chunks to prevent them from reinforcing east to west. We got 14 turns so we can take our time. <clears throat> That's that. All right, let me zoom back in. Let's go to height. And yeah, we can get in a little more. So let's do our hand. We get four cards. Nothing happens. Crappy initiative. Poor shooting. Crappy initiative. Should have brought more ammo. Go straight to no ammo. That's no fun. Can't think straight. No planning. Well, these are not very good initiatives, are they? The only plus side is we didn't take any KIAs out of the deck. What to do for my initial initiative? We're going to keep that nothing happens. I'm going to burn this one with a really bad initiative right away. I wasn't going to plan on the first turn anyway. Control I sets that as my initiative card. I need to set up. So I need to decide who's going to be in my assault team and how many and who's going to be in my base of fire. So, I want a good assault team. So Taylor's leading the assault, setting him aside. Which means that let's see here. Got Taylor, Johnson, these four are going to be my assault team. I've got excellent TQ for spotting. I've got a ton of firepower. Probably shouldn't put Thomas there too. Let's give him the medic. Maybe one more person. They need a rifle grenade. The rest of these guys, we're going to do five and six. Yeah, and our <clears throat> last guy is in the Jeep. This guy's going to be down here. These guys are going to be up here. Okay. Put Sarge there. Got two Abels, a Baker, two Charlies. That's a good mix of stuff. Nobody can see them back here. We can sprint if we want to, but I'm not going to sprint when I don't know where anybody is. All right. I'm going to keep my medic back a little bit. They should be out of sight here. Nobody should be able to see me. They could get start up 
as far up as 7 and 8. They could start here. Or they could start farther back. We don't know where the heck they are. Into Charlie's here. I'm going to put my Jeep here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'll start them on three. <clears throat> two crawls will get me to this intersection, then I can rotate, and then it's just straight up the road. And down here, starting up, boom, 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 boom. I'm not going to take any chances. I don't know where they're coming in from. So I'm all under cover. I need to give orders. So in my Jeep, I'm going to give this guy a spot. We're not moving. And here, I'm going to give him a name Fire. Not that he's going to have anything to shoot at, hopefully. Everybody here is going to have an evade. Shift V. And everybody down here is going to have an evade. Shift V. Now i got to clean up the stacks. I just got to get that order down. That order down. That order down. That one down, that one down, and he's only got one. Okay. That's us. We're set up. Now it's their turn. Their <coughs> average quality, which means 3 to 15. So Alt E brings up the enemies. 3 to 15 goes into Cup A. Control A, 8, 9, 15, and the sniper, Control A, and the machine gun, and five dummies, always five dummies, and 3 to 15, 8, 9, 15, sniper, machine gun, five dummies, 3 to 15, 8, 9, 15, sniper, machine gun, five dummies, and 3 to 15, 8, 9, 15, Sniper, machine gun, five dummies, got it, they're all up there, cup A is loaded. Now for setting them up, all right. For the town map, <clears throat> we have to roll a d6 to see where they're going to set up. Six. So set up number six. Medium size. Okay. We've got a bunch of fortified buildings here. So I'm going to put the fortified buildings in first. Looks like they're set up pretty far back. So I'm going to bring up my markers, Alt-M. And um, General, General, 
minefield hatch. All right, back to this. Got interrupted. We're doing fortified markers. Okay, number six in town. Puts a fortified on 2007. And 2009. In 2012, well, that looks like a fun building now, doesn't it? And 2204. And 2308. And 2611. And 2604. Twenty six ten. Oh, the church is fortified. It's going to make my assault a little harder. And 3006. Which I think will be an annoying hex. That's all the fortified buildings. Okay, now we can draw out <clears throat> our soldiers. Okay, 2007. Twenty oh nine, twenty twelve, twenty two oh four, twenty three oh eight, twenty three sixteen. Twenty four fourteen in the open twenty six eleven where'd that one go? Twenty eight oh seven, thirty eleven, twenty six oh four, back over there. Twenty six oh six, twenty six ten, twenty seven oh eight, twenty eight oh five. Thirty oh two, thirty oh four, thirty oh six, thirty 
And thirty two oh five. That should be everybody. Unless we have one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20. <clears throat> so in our confidence tracker, they've got a max confidence of 20. Breaking at 10, surrendering at 5. We've got 12 plus 1, 13 for the driver. We are bold. 6 to 5, 3 to 2. I've got to give me my bolds. Shift Y. Come on. Shift Y. Everybody's bold. He's also bold. He's also bold. And down here, shift Y, they're all bold. <coughs> okay, now <coughs> they also get, <coughs> sorry, I'm getting over a virus. They also get wire. I've got to place our wires. So let me get Alt M back up get our wire markers and wire goes in 1101 and 1102 way up here get this out of the way okay 1101 1102 1103, 11.04, 11.12, 11.13, 11 14 17 Twelve, eleven, twelve, seventeen, fourteen, oh, six, fourteen, oh, seven. Oh. 
1906. Fourteen oh seven, fourteen oh eight, fifteen oh six, sixteen oh five, seventeen thirteen. Okay, so this hotel and city hall are pretty much enshrouded in wire, which is going to make it difficult to get in there. So we've not talked about wire, so let's talk about wire for a second. Wire is impassable terrain for a Jeep. Jeeps can't enter it, so my Jeep wouldn't have been able to get down here to the south anyway. This is all cut off. They're forcing my vehicle north, which is fine with my plan. I could sneak them right through. Wire does not block line of sight. <clears throat> wire is considered rough terrain. When you enter a wire as a soldier, you have to go to sneak. The only way to get out of, out of wire is to sneak, and you have to pass a TQ check. If you hide in wire, Another soldier passing through can ignore the effects of wire. Basically, you're laying down on the wire, allowing your buddy to get through. If you fire from wire, there's a minus one modifier. <clears throat> and it doesn't provide any cover. If you have a half track or a tank that drives through wire, there's a possibility it could destroy it. And as a house rule, I play that if you have 105 artillery and there's a direct artillery strike on a wire hex and it craters, then the wire is destroyed. That's not an official rule, but I house rule that one. It makes sense to me. feels right. It's not easy to get rid of wire with artillery, but it can happen. I need to give them their orders. And then we can call in our artillery strike and we'll be done. So let's just give orders to everybody here. Now, if you're in a building and you pass TQ, they automatically get an auto A aim fire. So let me get my die down here to where I can see it. A four, eight does not. It's got to draw a card. Option, come on, option D, not D. That's the display, what do I want? E, I want the enemy there. Here we are, now that's them. I did want D, I want the orders, what am I doing? Let's make this a little smaller so we can just get our cards. He's normal in cover. He's hiding. Shift H. That's our red card. Shift R. Okay. We're doing top to bottom. This guy, a four or less. Two. Aim fire. Control one. Four or less. Three. Aim fire. Four or less. Five. Draw a card. Bold in normal in cover. Rapid fire. Control two, that's our yellow card. Shift Y, four or less. Nine, draw a card. Nine, 
normal in cover aim fire anyway. For one, that's our white card. Shift W. All we need is blue. Got to draw for this blue guy. Normal in the open. Running gun phi six. Shift U. Set our direction down. Um, you can rotate that with Control Z. Phi six. That's our blue card. Shift B. That should be all of our colors. Let's just take a look. Yes. So now everything else just goes to discard. Okay. All right. Four or less. Four passes. Aim fire. Four or less. Seven does not. Normal in cover. Run and gun for five. Control R discards it. Four or less. Zero. Aim fire. Four or less. Eight draws a card. Normal in cover. Suppress a fire. Suppress a fire is control three. Four or less. Three. Aim fire. Four or less. Four. Aim fire. Four or less. Zero, aim fire. Four or less. Zero, aim fire. Four or less. Zero, aim fire. Four or less. Eight, draws. Aim fire. Draw. Four or less. Nine. Normal and cover, suppress a fire, control three, control R, four or less, seven, draws a card, normal and cover, suppress a fire, control three, control R, normal in the open, rapid fire, control two, control R, four or less, Nine, normal and cover, suppress a fire, control three, control R. <coughs> All right. I don't think I missed anybody. That's everybody's orders. I'm going to take all the moves off. All right. We can set the initiative track. Our best is 68. They're all better than us. Red, blue, yellow, white. Red, control one, blue, control two, Yellow control three, white control four. And then it is Charlie Abel Baker. Charlie control five, Baker control six, Abel. No, it's Abel then Baker. Control six. There we are. That's in our initiative track. And now all we have to do is call in our 105 artillery to begin. Once they're set up, we call in our 105s. Let me look at the 105 artillery instructions. Friendly artillery, 105s. D6 plus 2. 
Oh, we also got to set our wind direction. Let's do that now. Wind direction is one straight up. Okay. It is what it is. Okay. D6 plus two. Eight artilleries. And then we're going to roll a D10 and they're scatter six. All right. Let's see where they go. We get eight of them. I've got to pull up. Option M. We take indirect fire. Friendly 105s. Eight of them. First one. Four. Thirty twelve. One. Next one. Three. Twenty seven eighteen. Two. Next one. Twenty seven eighteen. Three. Next one. Eight. Twenty three oh six. Four. One. Twenty seven eleven. Five. Twelve ten. Six. Twenty eight oh seven. Okay, I've lost track. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, I can count them here, can I? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more. Three, twenty seven, eighteen. Popular. All right. It's three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay, let's scatter them. <clears throat> Direction two. That is to the northeast. The northeast, one hex. Boom. Nothing there. Okay. I'm crater and smoke. Let's see what we got for crater. Indirect. 105s. Crater on four. Rubble on four. No crater, just smoke. It's one, didn't affect anybody. Here, 
scatters six. That's northeast, north northwest. Three hexes. One, two, three. Crater. Craters. Crater. Smoke. And <clears throat> this guy is going to get attacked. I should have kept that marker up. One of five, two rolls for three next door. <clears throat> Aim fire in a building is minus two. Yeah. Two shots for one. Miss, miss. But he's got to take a morale check. Four or less. Five. He's going to duck back. And he's going to now be cautious. Shift C. <clears throat> it's two of them down. Okay, this guy hit on the transect, but he scatters one straight up, one. This is not a building hex, it doesn't have the red ring. All right, does it crater? No, so we just place smoke. And this guy is aim fire in a fortified building. Minus three, three shots for zero. One hit. All right. Bad wound. Duck back. Bad wound. Morale check. Fails badly. And he's now routing. Bad wound and a rout means we go down two on the confidence tracker. That's three. All right. Here's another one. This one. Direction four. One, two, three, four, straight down. Two. Nothing there. Does he crater? No. Just place a smoke. It's four. Let's do these three. First one. Direction four, straight down, five. That's off the board. Out of play, control D. Next one, direction five, six. That takes him off the board. Control D. Last one, direction two. 
northeast, five. One, two, three, four, five. Does he crater? No. Just place a smoke. One left. Where's my last one? Oh, there it is. Direction three down this way. Five hexes. One, two, three, four, five on the wire. Does it crater? Five. It does not. We place a smoke. I'm going to leave the artillery markers out to remind me where these smokes came from. And I'm just going to label it. Control L. Turn one. It's one. Well, turn one. Well, turn one. It's three. Well, one. Four. That's all of them. Two of them went away. There's only six left on the board. There's our artillery. We had one shot at taking out wire, but it didn't. They're pretty far back. We're pretty safe to press up. These guys will be problematic at first. Our hotel is empty for the moment. I'll need to get my Jeep up here and use him to try to get up and get some fire on this building. My flanking guys are going to be okay for the initial part. This wire is going to be in the way. We're going to have to tuck around. <clears throat> Everything's looking like it's going to go to plan so far. That is our setup and our artillery barrage and our talk about wire. I'm going to save this. And we'll begin with turn one next time. See you then.